Well, you know, I just told our guys the most pleasing thing about that win besides the final score was the fact that it was it, it was a team win. You know, we had nine, ten guys step up and make very, very important plays at big times. You know, Malik obviously in the first half comes in and, and gets us out of an offensive funk. Ryan came in and gave us huge minutes considering he hasn't played in two months. Uh, BJ King probably won the game for us in the second half of those couple plays that offense rebounded in that uh, that transition basket. So, you know, it was an overall team win. I couldn't couldn't be happier for our guys because I know how much they wanted that and, and they played us you know, they played their hearts out. So it was it was very pleasing to see and um, you know that's that's a heck of a basketball team. You know, you can see the foundation that Archie's trying to lay with them. I mean, that team is they play hard. They're very physical. So. Um, you know, very, very, very happy with this win. But um, you know, with that being said, we'll enjoy it for the rest of the day. We're gonna get ready for a quick turnaround on Monday. David, what did you see yesterday in Ryan that made you think put him in there at the end of the game? Well, he's practiced the last two days. Um, you know, he, he got his tests and all that earlier in the week, and they said you know, everything looks about as healed as it's gonna get. It's just a matter of comfort. And he just said, look, I want to play. And we threw him out there for a little bit on Wednesday, or I'm sorry, uh, Thursday, a little bit more yesterday. And, you know, I asked him before the game. He said, "He feel? He said, "I feel really good." And he looked like he was about to throw up because he was so nervous. But um, he, you know, he, his experience. Obviously, we know his ability to make shots, but his experience. You know, he had a couple plays there in the second half where you know, he came off a ball screen and saw Honest on the roll a couple times, and you know, just plays like that that you just know as an older player. So you know, he, he was very valuable for us tonight. David, it seemed like you guys really clamped down in the second half. Uh, held Indiana 0 of 12 from the three. Uh, was that a big emphasis at the halftime? Was just kind of locked down defensively? It was, yeah. I mean, that's always going to be an emphasis with us. First, second half doesn't matter. Um, you know, it, we were doing a good job in the first half for the most part of, of what we call first shot defense. You know, we were doing a good job of making them miss. We just did a poor job of defensive rebounding. And you got to give them credit. I mean, they were crashing hard. But, uh, you know, we, we did a good job of challenging shots. Uh, we, we played zone, but went man, just tried to, to keep mixing it up. And, uh, you know, obviously, Ray Spalding with 14 rebounds and five blocks. I mean, that's just pretty big time performance. So, uh, you know, but like I said, overall great team win on uh, both ends of the floor. David, Dabbs just kind of went over a quality opponent. What does it tell your guys about validating what you're trying to teach? Yeah, I mean, I don't, know. I don't think we can use just one game. Obviously, it's you know, I don't want to call it a feel good. Whatever, everyone feels good, but um, you know, we just we wanted to get some momentum going. You know, we didn't we didn't want to look ahead, but we just wanted to play. You know, in, in two game stretches. Okay, so we won the one on Wednesday, and we had wanted to win this one to get t uh, today, and then you know we got a couple more. Monday and Saturday next week, so we're just trying to play it in those two game stretches, and you know we won the first stretch. So, you know we just we gotta like I said we gotta build on it, we gotta enjoy it, and then we just uh, you know we gotta get ready for uh, for Monday. Well, we've had some big threes in this game. What would you say to him to get him going offensively? Nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's kind of the same thing with all of our guys. Um, excuse me, I'm just looking at the stat sheet here. You know, a Q again. I mean, he. he, he <laughs> He's a very he's a much better shooter than the way he's shooting the ball. I knew Malik was a much better shooter than the way he was shooting the ball. You know, and it's just it's a matter of just getting a couple to go when you're off to the races. I mean you can see that with Malik. So I just said, look, if you're open, if it's in the rhythm of the offense, by all means shoot the ball. You know, I'm not gonna tell a guy not to shoot an open shot. So um, you know, we just we gotta continue to try to get good shots and then you know if, if we're open we gotta shoot it. You guys were down by ten a couple of times there early in the first half. Was there a message sent there or was it just to let them fight through it? No, I mean we Look, I knew we missed a couple of easy shots, which seems to be the common theme for every game we have this year in the first half. We just couldn't make shots. But like I said, I thought our first shot defense was pretty good. You know, we didn't do a very good job in transition a couple of times. Um, they, you know, they gave up, we gave up offensive rebounds to them, which you know, they did a good job of crashing hard. But I told Q and Dang and BJ at halftime, we only had one defensive rebound between the three of them. I said, we just, we got to rebound the ball because then we can get it and go. So, you know, it was just the same common theme. Can't let your offense affect your defense, and you know we did a, a decent job of that in the first half. But even the last, you know, five or so minutes of the game, you know, we, we couldn't. We made one for two from the free throw line. Ryan missed a wide open three. You know, Honest missed a post move, and you know, we didn't let it affect our defense, which is really, really good to see. Is that kind of the biggest message right now? Is when you do go to the smaller lineup, getting uh, more rebounding from the guards. I think uh, Dingadell had one <coughs> one rebound. Is, is that kind of the biggest thing? Is just getting help from all five positions rebounding. Yeah, I mean we're going to have to be a, a team rebounding team this year. You know, I know that sounds redundant, but you can't just rely on Honest or Ray to get all. You know, it's got to be all five guys, and, and that's where you know guys like Donovan Mitchell in the past or Terry Rozier, or, you know, Terry and Williams guys I played with from the guard spot rebounded the ball, and it helps your team. You know, because. A lot of times when you play zone, teams take long shots, and long shots means long rebounds. So 
our guards have to come back and rebound the ball. And you know, we were down, I think, <coughs> five or something on the backboard at halftime or around there, and we ended up even in the game. You know, I think they only had four in the last 25 or so minutes of the game. So that, that was a big, big reason why we were able to come back. David, how much of a, I don't know if relief is the right word when Dan gets that shot? Because you had a couple turnovers in a row. Yeah, I mean, it was a big shot, you know, and that's, <laughs> I knew as soon as he shot it, he made it. it. Just because I've seen him make that shot numerous times in practice, uh, just kind of that hesitation, 17-foot shot, which is a very tough shot. But, um, you know, we, I just kept telling him, look, if we get good looks, if they don't go in, get back, we got to play defense. Just keep playing defense. And our older guys know that. They've been around long enough. But, you know, it's just a matter of continuing to take good shots and, uh, you know, just got to get back on the other end and defend. David, when Quentin's playing well, what's going right for your offense and for your defense? A lot. You know, we, we tried to, after the Seton Hall game especially, we tried to make a point of when we get a rebound, let's get it to Q quicker instead of maybe somebody else trying to bring it up the floor and then get it to him. That way he can push it and the other guys can take off and run to the corners because the beauty of that is, and these guys are starting to see it, they're going to get the ball back from him. You know, he, he's the best decision maker we have in the open floor. So. They just got to get it to him, then take off and run, and they'll get it back. But, you know, he's just he's, he's struggling to shoot the ball from three, but I'm not worried about that in the least. You know, he's five for five from the free throw line and has five assists and one turnover. So, you know, it's only it's going to be a matter of time before he just hits four or five threes in the game. But as long as he keeps taking open shots, I'm fine with it. David, how key was Ray's activity in the second half for you guys? You mentioned his stats earlier, but it seemed like his his handprints were all over that game. Yeah, I mean, that's that's who Ray Spalding is. Uh, he, I don't know how many deflections he had. I didn't ask, but I mean, you know, he had five blocks. Uh, he just he covers for so many people. You know, he and Honest and Honest wasn't quite as good as I didn't have a block, but he, Ray just covers for people so well. You know, if there's somebody gets beat off the bounce or if they don't communicate, he just his instincts on defense and his ability and his wingspan just help erase a lot of mistakes. And you know, it, you, it was pretty evident tonight. Last question: Did you guys break? cut down on those pick six turnovers that you've been worried about? Why, why do you think? Well, I think just getting the ball in Q's hands more. Um, you know, it, it also helps to have a guy like Ryan, to be honest, when he comes in because he just has played. He's experienced. You know, Darius does a great job on defense, which is what we need him to do. Um, you know, so, yeah, Darius had two assists, no turnovers, so he did a better job. But it was just an overall team focus of taking care of the ball. You know, it was a big emphasis coming into this game because when you drive, they slap down so hard and they're so physical. So our guys did a, a good job of paying attention to the scouting report and being strong on the ball.